that green. All right, I'll, I'll bring it up and try to show it. Maybe too, uh, uh, too dark to see, wouldn't it? Are you ready for me to say something and walk up there or not? Okay, you can talk about it if you want to. All right. You know, in some of our, our other places, we found basalt and we also found diabase. And this is a very large grain. Instead of being diabase, it's a dark rock, but it's large enough grain to be a gabroid rock. And it's got olivine in it and probably hornblende or argite. Dark minerals, very little white, very little quartz. And let's see how tough it is here now, isn't it? Anyway, it makes, it's a very definite gabroid dike going through here. And we're going to photograph the dike when we get up the creek a little way, or down the creek. Let me see now which one I want to use here. This is it. Alright, do we want to talk about this one a minute? Yeah, that'll be fine. Alright. Now on the geology map, the North Carolina geology map, and we're not too far from Virginia, but we're using the North Carolina geology map. It shows you an area where these very large green igneous rocks are. And the real dark ones with large greens are gabbros. Here's one that's half light and half dark. This is known as a diorite. Notice it's much lighter than the last specimen we looked at, which was much darker, which was a gabbro. Had more dark than, than light. This is about 50-50. We'll go up there and, 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 and shoot those things in a minute. Dive. Pump this thing right in. I don't believe I can do it. Wait, I'm not going to kick this up. Did you get a good one, Dave? Yes, intrusive rocks that we looked at were mostly diabased up in the Triassic area. Now I want you to look at this. This is an intruded dike of igneous rocks, plutonic rocks. But they're real dark and notice that they don't turn an orange brown like the finer grain diabase. But these are very large grain diorates and gabbro. And if you pan right up you can see the dike going plumb across the creek and plumb up to the other hill over there. Which are very ancient rocks. But the fact that they are large grain and mostly dark minerals makes it fit into the general category of a gabroid texture. It's got olivine in it and probably argite and a little bit of a certain dark labradorite type of uh, feldspar. But you can see the massiveness of this dike. 